So you bought the cheapest Steam Deck available and now realize you want more than 64 gigabytes of storage. Let's go over if you even should upgrade your SSD and how to do it step by step. If you've already made the decision to change your SSD, you can go to this timestamp and get started. But for the rest of us, the Steam Deck comes with only 64 gigs of storage, which is absolutely not enough. You 100% will need some kind of storage to upgrade that. But Valve's Steam Deck has an expandable slot for a microSD card that allows you to install all of your games on it without any kind of Steam Deck surgery. For most people, I'd say this is the easiest path to more storage, as games installed on your microSD card will only load like 2 seconds slower than your NVMe SSD, and is considerably cheaper. I have links in the description for all of my favorite microSD cards for the Steam Deck in a variety of storage sizes. You might want a larger SSD after all if you are planning on doing anything extra like dual booting Windows 11 or using your Steam Deck for large file transfers. Also note, you will lose everything on your current storage device and will need to reinstall everything once the new SSD is completed. Here is everything you will need before you upgrade the SSD on your Steam Deck. First, you will obviously need an SSD. There is a little variation in speeds for the SSD, so I'll drop a link to some of my favorite ones in the description below that are compatible. But if you are buying your own SSD, just make sure that it is 100% a 2230 NVMe SSD. Yes, there are some sized SSDs that will technically fit in the Steam Deck, but Valve has straight up said don't use them because they will probably overheat your device. It has to be a 2230 NVMe SSD. As long as it is that variant, you can pick any storage capacity you desire. You'll also need a small Phillips head screwdriver, and please for the love of god do not try to use a power drill. We need to be very careful when working with small electronics. You will also need something very thin and strong to pry open the Steam Deck after you unscrew it, so something like a guitar pick or a credit card will work. Don't use anything metal for your prying tool like this guy here. We want something made out of plastic, as the metal will scratch your Steam Deck like I did mine the first time I did this. I also like using this candle lid to hold my screws so I don't lose them. After the procedure, you will have to reinstall SteamOS onto your Steam Deck, so you will need some sort of external storage with at least 8 gigs of capacity to do that. I like to use this USB flash drive from SanDisk because it has both USB-A and USB-C on the same drive. If you only have a traditional USB-A flash drive, you are going to need a converter because the Steam Deck only has a single USB-C port. If you have a dock or a hub of some sort, that would also work. Last but not least, you will need a computer to install SteamOS into your flash drive. If you have a Windows PC, I recommend downloading Rufus to do this job, and if you are on Mac OS or Linux, Balena Etcher will get it done for you. Again, links to everything will be in the description. Before you get started, try charging your Steam Deck to full just so it doesn't die during the procedure or installation or anything. Once it's charged, we are going to fully power it down by hitting the Steam button and then going to power off. Flip the Steam Deck screen side down on a soft surface like a mouse pad, and then get your Phillips screwdriver handy. Before opening the Steam Deck, it is 100% imperative that you remove your micro SD card from the slot, as it's almost guaranteed that it will snap in half during the procedure, so just double check you don't have an SD card in there. There are 8 screws in the back of the Steam Deck holding it together. The outside 4 screws are going to be longer, and the inside 4 screws are going to be a little shorter. You'll want to remember this when putting the Steam Deck back together after you finish. So one by one, unscrew the 8 screws on the back of the device and keep them safe. To open the Steam Deck here, this is where you will want to use a credit card or a guitar pick to gently pry open the Steam Deck casing. If you go a little too hard, or if all the screws are not removed, you risk cracking the shell. So just take your time going around the edge to get some opening, then pull up and away to remove the clips on the rest of the shell. Hey, we did it, good job. If this is your first time opening up electronics, this might all be a little intimidating, but don't worry, as long as you don't start stabbing anything, you should be in the clear. To continue, we need to remove this metal shield. There is a small screw hidden underneath this foil, so you can just peel it back and unscrew the following three screws. Again, these are not the same size. The middle one is a shorter one, and the outside two are slightly longer. Once unscrewed, you can freely pull up and away to remove this shielding from the housing. In the bottom left there, that is our current storage device that we are looking to replace. Unscrew the single small screw holding it down, and then gently pull the drive out with a little wiggle out of its socket at an angle. Even though you are replacing this, I do recommend holding on to it in case you ever need a backup in the future. The storage drive should be covered in this ESD casing. Gently peel it off and hold on to it as we are going to reuse it. If it feels a bit stuck and is unable to come off, you can use a pair of tweezers to gently pull it back and off. Alright, the hard part's over. Now we just need to do everything in reverse. Put the shielding we just pulled off onto your new SSD. Line the notch on your new SSD up with the notch on the Steam Deck. Push it in at a shallow angle until it is all the way in and then gently push down on the drive and screw it in using the same screw we removed. 
At this point, you're done. You just need to use the same screws you used before to apply the shield back on, and then put the casing back on. Push in around the edges until everything gets clipped and is nice and snug, then you can screw in the eight remaining screws. Now that the physical procedure is done, we need to reinstall SteamOS. I'm going to go over how to do this on a Windows PC using Rufus, but if you're using macOS or Linux using Balana Etcher, just know that it will be pretty much the same procedure. Insert your flash drive into your computer and download the Rufus utility from the link in the description. This is going to allow us to write the SteamOS ISO to the flash drive so we can install it on the Steam Deck. Do know that this will format and delete everything on this flash drive, so if you have any critical data on it, I recommend moving it off for the time being. After downloading Rufus, go to the link in the description to the SteamOS recovery image page and download SteamOS. Once it's completed, we just need to open Rufus, select the flash drive that we are going to format, and then select the SteamOS file we just downloaded as our target. Hit run and let it do its thing. This will take a few minutes, so just be patient. Once it's completed, you are done on your PC and can move back to the Steam Deck. Plug the USB we just created into your Steam Deck. While the Steam Deck is still powered off, hold volume down and click the power button. When you hear the chime, you can let go of the volume down button and you'll be booted into the boot manager. In the boot manager, it's going to give us a list of different ways to boot the device, but we want to boot from whatever your USB device is. Once doing this, the screen will go dark for a few minutes. Be patient, it is not frozen, it's working its magic. Eventually you'll be greeted with the recovery options on the SteamOS desktop. On this page, we want to choose Re-Image Steam Deck, as it will completely give us a fresh slate to work from and install the operating system onto your new SSD. You can use the right trigger to click it. After a few minutes, your Steam Deck will show you the welcome screen and you are totally done. You've just upgraded the SSD on your Steam Deck. If you want to know about which plugins, accessories, or games I recommend for the Steam Deck, get subscribed. Like the video if it brought value to you. My name is Jason. Thanks for watching.